Hey guys, this is Dan for Licked, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to reduce background noise in your audio within Final Cut Pro X. Okay, so I appreciate this is way easier said than done, but the biggest tip to reduce background noise is to stop it before it even starts. So that means recording in a nice, quiet audio environment. You might want to turn off any aircon, fans, shut your windows, things like that just to make sure that you're recording in as quiet an environment as possible. You also need to get a good signal to noise ratio. And what I mean by that is that you need to be nice and close to the microphone, ideally getting the audio as strong as possible without clipping, obviously. Probably the most common issue that people have to deal with is reducing just room noise and background noise from their laptops or the outside world. So that's what we're gonna have a quick look at today. So I've got a clip on my timeline with a bit of background noise on it. I'm gonna play that for you right now. This is an example of audio with background noise. As you can hear, that's really noisy. There's like a load of traffic on that. It's not sounding good. So all we do is we click up here, make sure the audio inspector is ticked so we can see all of the audio settings. And then we tick the noise removal box just here. And that will automatically turn on noise removal for that clip. Now fixing background noises in Final Cut is never completely perfect. It's always a bit of a trade-off and a balance between dialogue clarity and overcooking it where it just sounds a bit garbled and like you're underwater. I'll demonstrate that just now. So if we turn the noise removal all the way down and play the clip. This is an example of audio with background noise. Obviously that's doing absolutely nothing at 0%. If we turn it up to 100%. This is an example of audio with background noise. You can hear it's starting to sound a little bit garbled, a little bit underwater. It's not the best. So what we're going to do for the moment is leave it at around 50% and hit play again. This is an example of audio with background noise. And that's definitely sounding better than it was. If I turn it off, you can hear the difference. This is an example of audio with background noise. This is an example of audio with background noise. And there you have it, it's that simple. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. If you'd like to license the music track used in this video or other commercial tracks, head over to the Licked website in the description below. 